Folks, we're back at the table. You know that grin comes from somewhere, probably thrifting or shopping, right here on my take on Home and Garden. Folks, I gotta catch you up on the thrift hauls and buys for the summer. Now, one of the things you saw at the DeLand store, I picked up and I showed you that I was going to repair it. That was the Hager Ibis vase, the Royal Hager, and I told you Angela was looking at me like I had seven heads and asked me about how I thought I was going to match that. So let's get your opinion and see what you think. And I gotta tell you, I don't have all the colors of the rainbow and all the products under the rainbow, but I'm pretty happy with that fix. We'll get a good close up. And that's the Royal Hager that I showed you from the Deland Antique shopping. Okay guys, hey, I went by Hobby Lobby and you know I got a tropical table coming up. I had to show you some of the goodies. Anybody remember or identify these leaves? Phalaenopsis orchids. They look so realistic with the roots hanging. You know those orchids will grow out of a tree and just suspended in midair they'll grow by a vine. So I picked up one of those for the new tropical table that's coming up. Look at these in the ginger. Too good. Just loved them. The color is amazing. Then in the Scottish thistle before they turn purple look at the red. Beautiful. So you remember the Sakuma we have, we actually have a couple popping out. So I'm going to have to get back in the garden and give you an update. Just love these. Then you know the Timothy is green and when they cut it green for animal food, that's most of what your hay is made up of. But when it's allowed to grow and start turning colors it'll go a, an amber a red and a violet and that's what you see me use all the time in arrangements just love it then we got a frajapani we have this in a white and pink and I just had to get this other one thought it was too good that's a sneak peek into the arrangement for the tropical table that's coming up. Can't wait. It's coming up soon. <laughs> now, we got some Goodwill goodies and I can't shut up about the, the deals. So here we go. This camel in the luster wear finish. Just loved them. You know, we have little carved wooden ones and we have bigger ones that go with the nativity and the crash. And I just liked him because this is making me think out of the box at Christmas time. Maybe some white frozen and crystal pieces. Just loved him. $3.99 guys this is a little grouping that was at the Goodwill and this is by Noritake let me get these out five cups and a gravy boat with an underplate okay and you know they have the girls names 
You know the set we have from my great grandmother is Brenda in the beautiful fall tones. This one is called Ramona and I'm real sure these flowers are forget-me-nots. Real old-fashioned. Nobody talks about them. Nobody thinks about them hardly anymore. I love this and I'm going to work on this set if I can. Five cups, gravy boat, like I said, $6.99 <laughs> for five cups in the gravy bowl like you're seeing it. Okay, so they look kind of silly without a saucer and they just didn't have any that matched, but I found a four pack of saucers with the gold, 22 karat gold rim, and these are by Ralph Lauren. Now look at it together. Would you, would you even worry about if they went together or not? No? No, I'll get a five-seater table done out of these in these tones. Just loved it. And four of them were $1.99. Back to the Deland shopping where I got the uh, Ibis vase. I had picked up the two wall sconces and I had picked this up and you did see it in a video but you wouldn't even know what it, what it was. Man, they only had one for nine bucks by Heinrich and Company, you know my heartthrob, in Bavaria with the acorns and oak leaves. Now this isn't the IRS Prussia one that I am just nuts about, but this is a beautiful set and I've never seen it before. So again, we've got the major side, the lesser side, and when you sip the coffee, you get to see the acorns and leaves again. Nine dollars. Not bad. Not too bad. Sometimes we gotta pay up and that is still not paying up bad. So moving along we showed in the milk glass our Indiana glass fruit bowl with this style. In the milk glass we have the amber glass and we have one in the uh, carnival glass. Yeah, this color, I've never seen it in. Usually, you know, the green is in that avocado green. So 60s and 70s. <laughs> I think they flooded the market with that green at one time. Not my favorite, but it is beautiful together in a collection. So no put down there. This I call green jello, lime green jello green. <laughs> so just fantastic. And if you remember, we showed you the pink one in depression glass down at the beach store, the Beach Street Mall store and that thing was like $68 so that's probably between that and the carnival is going to bring the most money and then probably I haven't seen one yet but a red if if there's a red they hold the money high too anyway okay five dollars guys five dollars for this there's not a flea bite there's nothing wrong with it there's not a nick it'll be gorgeous in the fall or at christmas dipping in to tableware again 
I saw these from across the room. Now you know it, it takes a lot to put a 12 seater table together and everything we have doesn't stretch across that table. So when I see a set of 12 I really get excited. Two things that are very exciting about this. Now you know China's got to have their hand in everything so the Japanese figures are this particular plate is made in China. 22 karat gold rim, beautiful. Nothing wrong with it. So excited about it. The best part is there's 12 of them, so it's a good salad or dessert plate for one of my Oriental table settings, which is also coming soon with some surprises. And how about 12 plates for $9.99? You can't beat it, guys. 12, there's nothing wrong with not one of them. Alrighty. This little teapot, let's see. It could be, yes, it's a teapot no top it most certainly probably had a top okay but to me it's a beautiful fall floral vase now for $3.99 can't you see it too cute guys a little vignette for fall here is a greco-roman style bowl on a pedestal column. It's real rough and flat finish. Gives it that old world look. The inside is totally glazed. You could fill it with real flowers and it's going to hold the water which will do for you. And at $4.99 I just loved it. You can't get a vase hardly for that for that price, especially something unique, especially something vintage. Now this, I call this color like a spicy mustard, and I just love the pattern here. It's real old world looking, and what a piece for fall for a mid-size arrangement. Just loved it, guys. $3.99. Where are you going to go? It'll go in our vase collection that I can draw from for all different seasons. This was a real surprise that it was sitting there at all because something like this I would think would get snapped right up. How cute with nothing wrong there's not even a flea bite on this. For Thanksgiving, for fall, even into Halloween. Look how cute. It's a cookie jar, a biscuit jar. It can be a centerpiece on your main table, especially in a little vignette. And especially again for four. 99 <laughs> I, I couldn't believe it just cute as can be next we got a little bit of a surprise here see if you recognize this at all now when I first saw it across the room I thought oh I gotta get over there somebody's gonna grab that sure as heck I thought here the top comes off this uh, urn well it doesn't come off and then there's a small hole in the top and then there's you know an open bottom and I'm going okay that is a lamp body somebody took apart and probably was gonna fix it and then they lamed out and didn't finish it 
<laughs> so it was actually on the shelf like this. Okay, to me, that artist eye kicks in. To me, this is now a centerpiece for an oriental table. I can put something inside, right? And this might not be the, the right shape or size or anything, but and it's a vase okay so we'll look at that later i'm sure of it <laughs> look how cute folks look at the beautiful so we were out at our buddy's shop at Rediger's up above we call it up above because there's down below antique shops and then there's up above the farmers market and indoor and outdoor booths galore there's two big sections to that now when the extravaganza's on there's three big sections so we've only shown a, a little bit of that out there when we get to go so we'll be going again angela saw these ovals in the Victorian style. Now if you remember the little kids and the Hungarian gypsies that we got at an estate sale, I gotta recap on that and tell you about these. Somebody wrote in and told us that you know I had called them Romanian maybe Italian and because of their dress and a cute subscriber wrote in and said she knew when those come out and they were Hungarian gypsy children I, I just loved it real close anyway right so I had told you about those frames and what a what a buy now these again were at a antiques shop and uh, with overhead and the back is completely intact you can feel the little brad nails all tacked all the way around that backer piece the paper's intact wired hanger with the screw eyes typical for the time and on the back you know everything's got a story and I love it when you can see the story right in front of your face. I'm going to leave the last name off so that people aren't embarrassed or, you know, calling in or writing in. Wedding gift from Mama and Papa to Maribel and Paul, April 24th, 1948. So these were new back in 47 or 48. Just incredible. They both say the same thing, handwritten and dated. So it just makes me think, for some of us, you know, maybe your cuter things, your better things, things you know are going to get passed along take a minute and put a little note on the back i think people are generally interested especially a collector and they'll put it out on the street so to speak like in a show like ours where you're gonna go for sentimental cute and beautiful well we got one more thing to show and you remember when we were at the Beach Street Mall, you just got to see that video and asking about what I picked up. Well, I had taken my son to his graduation at the big Ocean Center arena over there for, you know, for the rehearsal. So he told me four hours. He called me in two hours. I wasn't even done with the video. 
let alone get to go shop. So unfortunately, he saved us about $200 because I was out of time and he had to get out of there. But I did get the main thing that I saw and I just loved it. I wish you could see this in real time. Angela's face when she was editing the video. She saw the same thing and said, tell me that came home. You know me, I gotta play this out now. I said, what are you talking about? She said, that bronze, tell me that came home. That needed to come home. Real still dead serious. I said, I went over there to film, not spend money. I said, it did come home. Of course it came home. <laughs> so here it is, guys. <laughs> you haven't got to see it yet. Now, I, you know, right away, you, you want to call it a bronze. Now, she wasn't holding anything either. I put that little crystal there for now. And... The more I looked at her, I said, right, she's not bronze, I can tell. First of all, the price was like, she's not quite bronze, $78. So the more I looked at it, I could see a rub on, on a spot. Two things told me, and I turned it over. The base I recognized because we have two spelter pieces. You know, the boy and girl dancing just outside of the, the garden uh, shed and taking a break from their work. You've seen them on our channel. So that base was exactly the same and she is a spelter piece. Spelter means different metals that do not have copper. And that's the easiest way I can tell you. They can still be zinc and tin. If you throw copper in there, you got bronze, okay? So what's funny is today, because of the age of the spelter pieces, some of them are going for more than the bronze pieces. <laughs> so I got a deal on her, $70. So tickled pink, just tickled. She's about... 20, 22 inches tall for that money? Oh, yes. And Angela was right, but I loved, before I told her, she she came home and walked right past it, you know, because we have other ones, so it, it, blended, it blended in easily. <laughs> but I, I love that story. Anyway, folks, hopefully, as usual, you might have liked our video today on our finds and deals and little repairs and so on. And blessings to everyone, especially if you're on our Instagram. <laughs> it's entertaining as well. We thank everybody for coming over. Take care now, and we'll see you in the next informative, over-the-top collector video. Back to the Deland shopping, where I uh, forget everything I'm saying. <laughs> Let's get a sip of that coffee. Mm. Mm. Love that. 100% Colombian coffee. Down into land where I got the uh, Ibis face. I had picked up the two brass chandelier or uh, candle candelabra 
wall sconces. <laughs> I'm on a roll today. Right here on my take on home and garden. <laughs> <laughs> Snap, will you? <laughs>